for having me here because I teach you something that in the other room the guys even don't care. That's how you make money. So you guys here, if they guys over there, <laughs> you buy your games and you make the money and they think they are the funny thing. But the funny thing will be here. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> I'm not many good on self-presentation because I always like self-propaganda and I horrible on self-propaganda. But I tell you something that's very interesting to you to know. Uh, and I think everyone know about it is how you make money with games. I, am, I have 10 years of experience on how can I get your money. And I'll be very happy with that. <laughs> so, <coughs> uh, my name is Moacir. I is just like your neighborhood. I am from Brazil, just 12 hours of plane. It's very good because the food is amazing. Uh, and I work with, now I have four jobs in Brazil. And I get doing money with all jobs. So that's very cool that I teach you how to get all these things. I work with this company. Uh, this company, I have sure that you never heard about this, this company. But this company uh, sells the games for the distributors. And I will present you how this, how this publish was. I work with, directly with Bethesda. I think you know the games of Bethesda. Telltale, Telltale games, that is Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, etc. Maxcom games, that's more the indie games. Uh, CI games, that's more indie games as well. Mad Cats, if you know that game Rock Band, Mad Cats is producing now. NCSoft is a company that is, uh, <coughs> is a Korea company and believe you work with Koreas is very interesting. <laughs> and BDA, that's accessories. So here we got practically all whole system of games. You have the triple way games, you have the indie games, you have the accessories, you have the digital distribution and you don't know how much money they get. It's a lot. So, in Brazil, I help to launch these games. So, it's the biggest games that we have See, And all these, I work directly with all the companies. Uh, we all, everything. And I can say to you that the mine gold is Minecraft. The Minecraft sell in just one week. I told about story mode, like uh, just in Brazil, two million and a half copies. So, about these two million and a half copies, I get two percent of all sales, and make me very happy. <laughs> so, <coughs> how you can work with all these big games? The company. Besides to be a company of games, they want money. They want your money. But if I want your money, I have to make you happy. Because you not buy anything that's not very, very good. I think that's correct here. So, the other company that I work, it's ESL. If uh, you don't know what is ESL is, it's Electronic Sports League. That is the competition. That's the tournament. And believe it or not, this company wins now more money than almost all that companies that I show you in the, in the first slide. What's happening in the world right now, my friends? Uh, in like 10 years in the past, when I dealt my fathers, I went to work with games. My father looked at me and said, did you want that I give you a real job? Because this is not a real job. My father said to me, work with the games is absolutely nothing. And I say, I have proof that you are wrong. And today he's changed his mind. So <coughs> this is one of the events that we made uh, in Katowice about one year and a half in the past. We sell like 
one ticket every second and three hours all sold out. So you now have people paying for see the other guys playing. That's amazing. Uh, falling, that is the top players, that's for SK game, his personal friend of mine, and he told me that just in the last year he makes seven million euros playing video games. Just for playing. So now you not only win money, make the game, but you win money playing the game. So you guys here, I hope that I can pass to you all that spirit that I have about these 10 years with this company. So let's begin. The journey is the goal, my friends. Our plan is the <laughs> first thing that should be all very cool, very likely, but our reality is just below. You don't think that's easy. When someone tells you that emprendedorship is good, forget it, it's horrible. How you get money from the guy that even know you? That's very difficult, very, very difficult. But if you put right, you win money. Okay? Because let's think something very important in this world that happened now. You have Volvo, that's a car company, that have 20,000 employees, and they sell the company what 1.7 billion. And you have Mojang that make Minecraft, they have 28 employees and they sell the company for 2.5 million. Something happened here, guys. The difference that we have now is <laughs> economy creative worth more than cars. That's what happened here. But how do that? How can we achieve this success? Minecraft, as I say, is a mine of money. How can we get the game to this level? <coughs> and I tell you one story that's very interesting. Imagine a tree. I know that tree has a bird. And suddenly, a very cool rabbit appears below <coughs> this, this tree. And the rabbit says to the, to the bird, can I, I be here just to stop here and rest? The bird says, okay, stay there, no problem. And suddenly, a bad wolf appears and eats the rabbit. The moral of the history is, if you, win, if you want to be the winner, the winner, you have to be on the top of the tree. You have to be good. You have to be the best on your team. You have to be the best study in your team. Because no one, absolutely no one, wants to take pictures with the second place. Okay? So everybody wants to be, take the picture with the first guy. The second one, not too many. So that's my answer to you. The first lesson that you have to say. So you have to be better. You have to be very patient sometimes. Okay? Because before you sell anything, I'm not just talking about games, think the other thing. If you have to sell the games or anything, you have to sell yourself first. And you have to sell yourself very good. How can someone believe in you if even you believe in yourself? That's very difficult. So, you have to know you, and better than that, you have to know the guy that you sell something. I give you a tip very, very good. Four years past, I have with Miyamoto in the, in the E3. And uh, it's very funny because he get me to dinner and he closed Hard Hop Cafe for do that. You can imagine how many they pay for like five or six guys later in a whole high round cafe. He paid a lot of money. But before I go, I begin to study him a lot what he liked, what kind of music he liked, uh, what kind of artist he liked. Because 
when I sit down with him, yeah, I, I know that he loves uh, Batman. And I say, did you see the last Batman? He looked at me and begin to talk with me with our friend of many times. So you have to find something that's much, much beyond, beyond uh, the simple connection of money and business. Because when you start to do that, it's different. When I talk with uh, Warner Bros, I study the guy first. I reach everything that he likes. Because I start my conversation with him about what he liked. So it's go beyond the business. And beyond the business, I win this guy. It's much more easier after that. <coughs> you have to have a destiny. What do you want? How can we start something if you don't know what to want? I have an idea in the past that to be the most top guy in games in Brazil. I already achieved that, but I put in my mind that I will be that. And the most important that I know have no one beside me. It's just like if you have to talk in games in Brazil or you have to talk with Marcia. So every connection, every guy, everything has talked to me first. And that is interesting. I have a dream. What to dream about it? When my father said to me, games is, is for the kids, if I have given up, I will not be here with you today. So I believe my dream, and I put that my destiny will be that. But criticize yourself. Because many times, my friends, I make a lot of stupid things, really. That's common. Everybody makes stupid things. But I make a lot, and I learn from them. That's the most important thing. You learn from that mistakes. And you can replicate that without the same mistakes that you make in the future. So, with this kind of thought in my head, I began to work myself in Brazil to make money with games. Uh, this uh, magazine is called, this roughly translation is This Is Money. And I'm here. But I don't know make any game. I actually don't know much thing about nothing, but I'm here with this picture because they see me uh, as a key guy on the games industry. And that began to change everything for me. And after that, I appear in the all big magazines. It's like uh, this is like a Time magazine. It's a very important magazine. And if you don't know, well, maybe we have here someday, Campus Party. It's a big and huge event for technology, and they call me for being the creator of games. I've been there in eight years. And after that, I came to Malaysia to talk about games. I'm here today. I already give, like, that is my, <laughs> I think, almost 15 uh, speaks that I have made by games. So I need to talk about it, that, that for you. Because I believe in me. I believe in my dream. And not, it's not easy because many times this guy asked me, give it up, you'll never be good, never. I asked uh, Hussein, that's my friend that called me, I asked him, how will you get a good salary in Tunisia today? And he tells me about 1,000 dinars, something like that. I can tell you here how much I win with money. It's six, uh, it's no, six. 14 times this. So, in Brazil, when everyone is talking about games not giving money, I can buy a real good car in the same month. I can get wherever I want without worry about money. Because I believe that. Because I want that. And which everyone says to me, stop, and I say, no, I will go. And that's you have to do, my friends. <coughs> this is the, the most important uh, journal in Brazil. That's like one minute costs all my life. <laughs> because it's, it's very 
potential guys, and they say, wow, this guy worked with games, let's work with games. And everybody begins to talk about games. And I begin to study LinkedIn, because LinkedIn is very important, because it's the professional guys. Where is this professional guys? It's, it's, it's LinkedIn. So I work my LinkedIn to be attractive for the other guys, and that works a lot. Well, I am the first employee of ESL in Brazil. And they say to me, I want you, and I want you right now. Well, I tell a lot, so let's talk about self games. Okay? That's my fifth symphony. That's I do by myself. It's looking at a periodic table, but it's not a periodic table. So every part that I make, everything, I begin with this. I study piece by piece. So <laughs> This is the money we can, uh, how be my perspective, uh, what my market is, what's the chance of failure, what's the chance of success, everything. So if I launch something, I put all the problems that I possibly have in study one by one. If I not have at least 10% of chance to make success, I don't launch the nothing. Absolutely not, because I will lose money. I will not win the money. I can pass this for you after. It's very interesting. And I create a process. So, you have an idea. You want money for that idea. That's you. You have an idea. You join with people. You talk with people. And you, well, I want money. I want my prize. And I pass you all these things behind. In the end, is this. People have it, money in the pocket, and let's go party. Uh, but in this journey, it's not so easy because you make mistakes, as I say. When you begin to do that, you say, you heard a lot of no, 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 no. Oh, did you want my project? No, I don't want what your project. But you have to say, okay, let's continue the thing. So this process that I pass a lot of time to put on that. Make me today, each game that I launch, I win at least $20,000 per game. Uh, and what's important of that, when you launch something, you get to ask yourself, your idea is cool, your friends with you on this journey, about this, uh, making the games, and you have technical knowledge. Right? Technological uh, knowledge is very important because idea everybody want, everybody has an idea. If you not put this idea in the paper, it's nothing, absolutely nothing. After you answer these three questions, you ready for everything. You really, really ready for everything. So be careful on that. <coughs> the most important thing. Where the money came. If you produce something, you need money to do that. Uh, <coughs> if you not have money, we can cooperate. So you can ask a guy that likes music. You can ask a guy that likes uh, uh, artists. You join the people, you make something. And that is the magic behind all, all of things. And the most important thing, please guys, think in quality. When you go buy something, Anything. The first thing that you think is how much I pay for that and how much I receive for that. You want something of quality. Why do you buy an iPhone? Because it's good for you. You have quick answers and everything. <coughs> we know about the product. We look at the options. We study our mistakes and, mistake, and the mistakes of the others. This is the most important thing. You have a lot of guys that failure, but the failure make you grow up fast. Uh, I remember uh, the woman from Harry Potter says in a speech, when I reach the bottom of my financial life, is the solid base to a rising. And she made Harry Potter and she win a lot of money. So you have to study this process 
to win for you. And this is very good when you, you get. And I tell you about my first great experience when how I can make money on games. Ayubi, pay attention. <laughs> well, this is Color United, a game that's horrible. This game sucks. Don't have music, don't have fun factor, don't have absolutely nothing. And uh, the Tur Turkish guy gave me this game to me and said, I have a challenge for you. If you make this game good in selling, I will give 19% of all the profit and say, okay. And I look at this, this horrible thing <laughs> and think, how, how can I make a miracle for them? Because we need a miracle to sell this. Well, it's like other, any other game that's puzzled. Sometimes it's so very difficult that you have to pay to go to the other stage. So, this is how that you get the money. So I begin to start the game. And when you reach like the five phase, it's so difficult that everybody give it up of the game. I get the technical guy and says, you, a lot of bad words I say to him. I don't tell it to you. <laughs> I say, you stupid guy, how can you make something money if you put something so difficult that no one can play that goddamn thing? And he goes, no, but, but it's, it's for me, it's, a, it's not for you, it's for the people. Don't think you know, of you. What, what's mean? You make a game that's only your mother play. <laughs> that's no meaning. Your mother says, oh, it's the most beautiful game ever. But it's the people that give you, you give you that choice. So we made the game more easily. And you put that for the, the people play. And the most important thing is the market. How do I reach other people? This game had like, uh, in the beginning, 200 downloads at maximum. And we monetized like one dollar. It's nothing. And I start to search for many guys. I go to YouTubers. I go to the technical channels that speak about that. And I begin to and uh, did you know this game? Did you see my uh, When I reach a uh, uh, company called Canal Tech, that's uh, the most uh, quick uh, vehicle to, <coughs> to show the game in the Brazil, and the guy liked the game. And I said, wow, how did this guy like this horrible thing? But he, <laughs> he made a, a front page about the game. And this front page had like one million and a half access in just one day. And I get 800,000 downloads for this game. And the game began to give me $20,000 per week. And when I negotiate with the guy, I say, okay, you give me this piece of crap, but now I, have, I want 95%. I say it's too much. I say no, it's not too much. If you no, don't have me, even that you have. And he say, okay, give it the money. Guys, in two years, this game gave me two two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Because you know that phrase, when the sun is beautiful, everybody wants to be a father. This horrible thing became a beautiful thing. And the artists began to play this game. When a famous artist, artist in Brazil made a video playing this game, and I had more than 5 million downloads. <laughs> so I can realize the connection of the things. And in the end, it's all about people. It's all about your friend tell you, play that is cool. And you, uh, you don't like, but you download it. And when you download it, I sell you, you download it to other guy with advertising. Did you know how Facebook make money? If you do not pay for Facebook, but you are the data. They sell what you like it for other people.
is that they make money on Facebook. So when a girl see a shoe and click, I want to buy that, this information go to a central, let's go to another central, let's go to another central, and by magic, when she access the Facebook again, you will appear again, oh, well, buy this, buy that, buy that, buy, 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 buy. And she buy. When she buy, okay, put again in search. So you are the data. And you make this happen, guys. Think about this experience. It's amazing. <laughs> Set up your game. Set up your life. Put in practice what we want for you. I have the second experience of mine was with this game. It's a Mexican game called Manu Gano. And what is an amazing experience. And I can tell you fully this experience. When I began to work with the Halo company, it's a Chinese company based in Shenzhen, China, they asked me to buy this game. And they said, okay, go to Mexico, Monsieur, talk with the producer of the game, and tell them that I will pay $10,000 for the game. And say, okay. And Monsieur, take the plane, uh, 10 hours, uh, and I got in Mexico, and I talked to Jose, that's the owner of this game. And I said, Jose, I have a Chinese boss that called Mr. Lee, and Mr. Lee wants to buy your game. Mr. Lee will pay $10,000 for your game. And Jose looked at me, Jose, did you like burrito? Yeah, I like it. Let's go. Let's eat the burrito. And me and Jose go to the burrito store, amazing, and I eat it. And he said to me, tell you Mr. Lee to, I'm not selling it. I like it. I say, okay. I go to the, my hotel, make a Skype with Mr. Lee. And speak a horrible English, by the way. And Mr. Lee looked at me, oh, was he, did you sell the game? And I said, no. And, uh, How can you not get the game? It's $10,000. Mm -hmm. He don't want it. Uh, okay, offer 20000 It's double the bet. And I get, go again to Jose. Jose, Mr. Lee, what uh, to buy your game for twenty thousand dollars? You look at me, it's a burrito again. Burrito. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I go to burrito and eat the burrito. I say, Monsieur, tell to Mr. Lee, go. Yeah, he's saying a bad word. <laughs> because I don't want to sell the game, damn it. Okay. And I go again to the hotel. Mr. Lee, I, he looked at me, ah, did he sell? No. I, he began to talk in Chinese. I did this. Make a bad word for me. I don't understand nothing. I said, God damn it. I offered them $50,000. And bring me this game. Okay. And I, again. What was that? He looked at me and said, Let's go. I stopped to finish the burrito. Okay. Fifty thousand was there. It's a lot of money. I said, tell to me, sir, that my game is not for sale. I love my game. Okay. Do you know that, Mr. Lee, you kill me? No problem. I said, he's on China. Okay. And I go to the tap. <laughs> and I, Mr. Lee, he looked at me, Ugh. he even talked, Ugh. he said, no. He said, okay. He stopped like five minutes and get everybody and start. I said, 250000 dollars I have the same expression. Oh, 
Really? Yeah. Okay. What's that? You look at me. What kind of burrito you want? <laughs> then he said, no, 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 no burrito this time. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And no. God damn it, man, it's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. No. And I said, tell me, tell me some goddamn price. Do I get this crazy Chinese and talk to him how much you want in the game? I want fifty hundred thousand dollars. Woo! Okay. I put on the screen and said, Mr. Lee, fifty hundred thousand dollars. He said, okay. You get it? We start to talk about ten thousand dollars. And the guy said, okay, five hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money. Wow, cool. And I go to Jose, Jose, he said, yes. Sell this goddamn thing. He looked at me and said, yeah, but I want a ticket fly for China and you go with me. Uh, okay. And I got back to Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, he said, yeah, this, ah, but you have to pay the ticket fly for me and for you. Ah, okay, what's it? But what's the moral of the, all this story? He trusts in himself. And you know that this is a good game. You get that, guys. So, if he do not, not have knowledge about what he sell, he will sell for 10000 And, as I said to you, when the son is beautiful, everybody wants to be our father. So, we have learned the two. But in two, Mr. Lee have to pay three more. And believe me, if he paid the triple, is the return is much more more than he, he paid. So believe in yourself, guys. That is amazing. That was an amazing experience for me. So it's like a shut up and get my money. That's what happened. And I have the last stuff that everybody knows here. I think that most of you know how this horrible. <coughs> This is a horrible game. This is a very, very horrible game. But how the guy get paid fifty thousand dollars per day with this horrible game? Did you know the history? I know the history because I know the guy. I know the Vietnam guy. And it's very simple. PewDiePie play this game. And he said, this is the most difficult game that I ever played. And another famous YouTube make other video breaking the iPad <laughs> with a hammer. This is hard. This is difficult. Yeah, a lot of But you only need two videos for the Vietnam guy get $50,000 per day. A lot of money, guys. And that is the moral of the story. How you get this marketing below? Be critical again. And the most important thing that I tell you guys that after the guy make a huge success, he don't think to after sell. Because like Toyota, Toyota had an interesting thing. Each employee of Toyota has to tell to your commander three tips how to improve the car. This is very important, and they do that. And if you, if you not have even the game, you have to put your ideas in paper. Because when you put your ideas in paper, that will be happy, guys. <coughs> and my last and blank thing is for you that here, we are here now. Did you know why it's blank? Because I tell you my story. It's time for you written your story. 
And believe it's not difficult, guys. Because I scratched for zero, for nothing. And now, every company that go to Brazil, or the most of the companies that go to Brazil, asking me what to think was here. What to think about my game. What to think about that. And I see a lot of mistakes in my country. A lot of them. I see big companies that invest a lot of money in the events that nobody here. I, I see many guys put a lot of money in games that don't get out from the scratch paper. And I learn from that. That's my blank, my blank point for you. It's time for you guys here reading your story. So, <coughs> some questions that's even basic for some guys. They don't respond it. Did you know that the DAO, the average users? Did you know it's a MAO, Mount Average Users? Most of the guys that work with apps, with games, even don't know the simple basic of that. Guys, in ESL, in games, in everything, is data. Everything is data. How much guys Reaching you. It's YouTubers it's like that. Oh, I want to bring that a YouTuber for an event. How much people you reach on that? How much people I can bring to my event on that? So that's data. Data is most important to you. Remember when I talk about Facebook? When you don't pay, you are the data. So this is important. And again, put all ideas in the paper. One day, I reach a very influenced guy in Brazil, and we talk to him about launch on game. And the guy appears in the room and say, "Well, cool. I have an idea, and I wanted to give you this idea." My friend look at him and say, "I have ten ideas in the bathroom when I take a shower." So, in one idea without putting the paper is absolutely nothing, my friends. <coughs> so, the moral of the whole history is, if you want to grow up, dare to lose, dare to lose, don't think that you will be someone, or say, oh, you are so beautiful, I can take my money, that will ever happen, if you are not Tom Cruise. So, dare to lose, begin to think that if you don't begin something, you will achieve nothing. Okay, guys? So, that's fine. Thanks for you. I hope that you learned something from me. And thank you very much.